Saudi forecasts 9.6% economic growth and oil boom and can't test to launch non-stop flights. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes, I'm Nadine Hassan. Saudi Arabia's economy grew by 9.6% year-on-year in Q1 of 2022 thanks to surging oil prices and higher output. It's the highest growth since the third quarter of 2011. Oil activity in Saudi Arabia rose by 20.4% year-on-year in Q1 of 2022. The IMF cut its global growth forecast for 2022 by 0.8% to 3.6% as of the impact of the Ukraine war and sanctions imposed on Moscow. Saudi Arabia pumped 10.3 million barrels a day of crude. Qantas announced it will launch the world's longest non-stop commercial flight, with passengers set to spend 19 hours in the air traveling from Sydney to London by the end of 2025. Non-stop flights will start from Sydney by the end of 2025, with long-haul trips later planned to include Melbourne. Qantas shares surge as much as 5.5% to the highest level. Qantas estimated Project Sunrise would have an internal rate of return of around 15%. Tokyo shares drifted lower as investors focus on an upcoming U.S. Federal Reserve monetary policy meeting. In Japan, the Nikkei 225 closed 0.11%, lower as shares of robot maker FANUC dropped 2.26%. South Korea's Kospi finished the trading day 0.28% lower, as Australia's stocks also closed lower with the S&P 200 falling 1.18%. Oil prices were lower with international benchmark Brent crude futures declining 0.89% to $106.19 per barrel. U.S. crude futures shed 0.91% to $103.74 per barrel. Japanese energy conglomerate Aeneas Holdings said it will withdraw from a gas project in Ku Pit, Myanmar. The companies involved in the Yetagun project of southern Myanmar, along with the Japanese government and Mitsubishi Corporation. Together, they hold 19.3% stake in the gas field, and Aeneas decided to withdraw after discussions taking into consideration the country's current situation, including social issues and project economics based on the technical evaluation of Yetagun gas fields. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real Time Billionaires Ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of world's richest people. Our biggest loser today is Bernard Arnault and family, down to $2.7 billion with net wealth of $155.9 billion. Our second biggest loser today is Gatam Adani, down to $1.3 billion with net wealth of $125.1 billion. And our third place loser today is Francois Betancourt Mayers, down to $1.3 billion with net wealth of $72.9 $9 billion. Check out our website and social media for all the latest billionaires news. International Semiconductor Consortium ISMC has signed a $3 billion deal to establish a semiconductor manufacturing plant in India's southern Karnataka state. The company will implement the project, which is India's first and largest of its kind, over a period of seven years. And the semiconductor fabrication unit is expected to generate more than 1,500 direct and 10,000 indirect jobs. I'm Nadine Hassan. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Watch me tomorrow.